There are coaches in many different sports who believe that athletes should specialize in their sport very early, training only in their sport almost every day from a very young age, sometimes as young as 9 or 10 years old. Other coaches prefer late specialization where an athlete trains in multiple sports throughout the elementary and even high school and specializing only in their own sport by around the age of 16. What does the science have to say about this topic? Which method, early or late specialization, is the safest for young athletes and which method will develop better athletes at the top level? That's what we'll be discussing today on Train Smarter by Speed Training. Hello, I'm Richard Bucciarelli. This video is brought to you by the Speed Training Lab and High Performance Center. If you like this awesome shirt that I'm wearing and want one for yourself, you can get it using the Speed Training merch link in the video description below. Please remember to like the video, comment on it, share it, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss an update. Now here we go. Alright, so today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the early and late specialization models. I'll summarize some of the recent research on the topic, give you my two cents, and then we'll see which one of these models makes the most sense for youth athletes and their coaches. Let's start by discussing early specialization, which has received more and more criticism in the last two decades as youth sports have grown into full-time, year-round programs. These days, if a child shows promise in a team sport like soccer, hockey, or basketball, they can most certainly join a club or academy program that trains and has competitions throughout all 12 months of the year. But is this really a positive thing for young athletes? Proponents of this model support it because athletes get to accumulate many more practice hours in their one preferred sport, and these extra hours will accelerate their development. So while it's hard to argue that playing more of a sport will make you better at that sport, unfortunately, there are also some problems that come with early specialization and primarily an increased risk of injury. Many studies, including one recent literature review conducted at the Ohio Department of Pediatrics and Orthopedic Surgery in 2016, linked to the study in the video description below have shown a link between early sports specialization and increased injury rates in children. And interestingly, the same study also found that early specialization leads to decreases in motor skill development, which may be the cause of the increased injury risk in the first place. What this means is that if you specialize early, you might perform better in your sport in the short term, but you might also lose out on overall athletic development and increase risk of injury in the long term. Okay, now let's turn our attention to the late specialization model. In this model, athletes participate in a variety of sports and only focus on their one preferred sport when they're much older, sometimes as late as 16 or 17 years of age. The common criticism of this model is that athletes don't get to accumulate the same amount of practice hours in any one sport as they would if they specialize earlier. And of course, this is true. So if the aim is simply to practice one sport more often, then this model is not for you. But what are the benefits of this model for young athletes? The science is also very clear about these. First, a study published in the Handbook of Sports Psychology, linked to that article also in the video description below, found that children who participated in multiple sports not only had fewer injuries, but also had a healthier sense of self and better social relationships with their peers. And second, many studies, including one conducted at the University of Santa Barbara, looking at over 700 professional baseball players, found that late specializing baseball players were more likely to get college scholarships and that they consistently practiced more than early specializers. And there's a link to that study as well in the video description below. Okay, so it's pretty clear from the science that late specialization is the best option for youth athletes. You get less injuries, more well-rounded motor skills and athletic development, healthier self-esteem and social relationships, and you have a greater chance of getting to the top level in your sport if that's what you're aiming for. Stay tuned for part two of this topic next week where I'll discuss the best and proven ways to incorporate the late specialization model into any sport. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time and until then, keep running faster, moving better and training smarter.